Ow. Tonight, a journal describing in detail the abuse of dogs that would lead police to a valley woman. That woman is now facing animal cruelty charges. It's a terrible and strange story. 12 News journalist Gabriela Becerra is live now with more on it. Gabby. Well, Troy Caribe, I'm told that woman admitted to killing at least three of the dogs. The investigation is filled with graphic details and a case that leads some people to wanting to see more legislation that protects animals from abuse. He was just so full of life and so happy. A months long search for a stolen rescue dog came to a tragic end last Friday when his body was found behind a bush near Country Club Drive and Southern Avenue. We took him out of a really bad situation and we brought him to our rescue to, um, to get him a better life. And for him to have gone through such prolonged horrific torture at the hands of this woman, it's just beyond heartbreaking. Pepe is just one of several dogs allegedly abused and killed by 42 year old Brooke Scalero. A journal allegedly belonging to Scalero details the cruel torture and deaths of several dogs, including her own dog and a former roommate's pet under her care. In this journal, there's about 30 pages of a lot of different dogs, many of which were ones we were looking for. And she goes into the most like extreme, demented, very detailed, graphic, horrific ways that she tortured and killed every one of these dogs. Mesa police say Scalero initially told detectives the journal was used for creative writing, but later allegedly admitted to three of the deaths. People working in the East Valley's rescue community are calling on legislators to create laws that better protect animals from abuse. There's a lot of laws that need to be created for Arizona and the ones that we do have, they need to start imposing them. And for rescues to have a more thorough vetting process. Going forward, they're going to have to vet the people a little bit better and get a little more information. Just giving a dog to somebody for a few hours just is they're going to have to change their practices on it. Pepe's trainer, Ali Zakovic, says she hopes his death leads to that needed change. I promise I would not stop until I found out what happened to not only him, but all of these other dogs. And Pepe's trainer who fought for that justice for the past several months is now creating Pepe's Paws for Purpose. It's going to be a foundation in which they'll advocate for change and protection for animals. Live in Mesa, Gabriela Becerra, 12 News. Gabriela, thank you for that. So